Today I'll be discussing the difference between closing apps in iOS 6.1.3 and iOS 7.02. So again, if you want to try to close the app, you'll double tap the home button. Double tap the home button and you get to a screen over here. In old iOS 6.1.3, you would just hold on the icon and then you see this appear and you can tap on the minus button to get to close the app. So if I want to close phone, oh, I have to tap the minus app and there you see it closes the app or I want to close blitz. There you go. Over here in iOS 7, though, if I want to close the app, I no longer have to hold on to it. Holding on to it does nothing. It just takes me to the app. Now, if I want to close the app, I just move to the I press on the page of the app, and then there just I slide it up, and it will close the app. So here's my calculator app. I just press it and hold, slide up, and that closes the app. And also, if I want to shortcut straight to the app, I just press once on it. So if I want to go to Safari, just press on there. It'll take me to Safari. Whereas on iOS 6.1.3, if you press it, nothing, you don't go to the app that you want to go to unless you press the home button once and you're back into the screen. If you Press that, it goes straight to the app. So that's the slight difference between the two. So I just want to continue again and say that if you want to go to a previous app in both iOS 6 and 7, double tap on the home button. And then on iOS 7, you can either press, I think, the icon or the picture. Here, I'll just press the icon. Do this again, or I can press the picture, the, the preview, and it'll take me to that app. On uh, iOS 6, all you do is you press the icon. So if I press this, it'll take me straight to the app. That's it.